President Obama's visit to Sweden is historic. It's the first official U.S. presidential visit to Stockholm ever. And the visit reflects the remarkable growth in the scope of American-Swedish relations. We've always been friends, but never before have America and Sweden collaborated in the diversity of areas that we're collaborating on now, whether it's the future of the Arctic, fighting climate change, business-to-business -business relationships, and corporate and social responsibility, working together on overseas development assistance. If there's one thing, one value our two countries share, it's caring for the two-thirds of the world's humanity that lives in abject poverty. Working together in those areas and others is what is occurring, and enhancement of that is the potential of the President's visit to Sweden. Now, if you meet a fellow American in an elevator somewhere in the States, what would you tell him or her about Sweden? I would say two things that are personally very important to me. One, I'm very family-oriented, and Sweden is a fantastic place to raise a family. I have a four-year-old daughter, and I can tell you children and family are embraced here in Sweden, and there are so many child-friendly things to do in a big city like Stockholm. And I love that part of Sweden. Two, I am passionate about the environment and protecting nature. And Sweden topographically is so beautiful. And the Swedes have done a great job in balancing growth, economic growth. On the one hand, it's a very strong economy, one of the strongest in Europe, and preserving and conserving the environment and thinking about the future environmental legacy of our children. So among the many things I love about Sweden that I would share with an American on an elevator, those are two things. Now, looking at next year, what's your main focus as ambassador to Sweden? Well, my main focus generally is continuing to intensively develop linkages and connections between Americans and Swedes in the diversity of areas that we're working on whether it's the business-to-business -business relationship. Annual turnover in business between the two countries is $25 billion. That's an impressive number. But what's even more impressive is that there's potential for so much more business between the two countries. And American exporters should look at this very fast-growing Nordic market as a real opportunity to sell goods and Swedish investors should look at the remarkable opportunity of the American marketplace to plant their flag in terms of their business expansion uh, around the globe. So that would be uh, one area. Another area, the next generation. There are many student exchanges currently underway between America and Sweden. But given the shared values between the two countries, gender equality, fighting climate change, sustainability, promoting innovation on entrepreneurship, overseas development assistance, there is so much potential for student exchanges to further develop and enhance those areas. And that's something that I hope to promote because indeed we have a collective self-interest in advancing what we're doing together in the future for the next generation. What is the biggest potential you see for American companies or entrepreneurs operating on the Swedish Scandinavian market? And also, is there any specific Swedish issue that you would like to see more of in the US? Well, Swedish companies are doing extremely well in the United States, so I don't have any advice to offer them. But I can tell American companies that the Swedish economy generally is very strong. B, Sweden is a strong advocate for the, transit, for the transatlantic trade and investment partnership, the US-EU free trade agreement that is one of the top priorities of the US government today. And working with the Swedes to get this done in Washington and Brussels is an opportunity, and that will help American companies, it will help European com companies. The sooner we get this done, the better. Third, 
in terms of the Swedish economy, I would particularly highlight the Swedish IT sector as an opportunity for American IT and digital and digital companies. Sweden's one of the most wired countries in the world in terms of IT usage, in terms of broadband reach, and Sweden is a great test market for your digital and IT devices as you seek to expand around the world. An excellent starting place is a wired society and a very good example of that is Sweden. And what's your favorite thing about Sweden? Gosh, there's so many things that I love about Sweden, but I would say two things. First of all, the nature and the environment of Sweden and the pristine condition with which it is preserved and conserved is something that I just love and admire. I love walking with my family by the water. I love going for bike rides through Stockholm. And it's this kind of existence, balance, lagom is the word for balance in Swedish, um, between man and land, man and nature, that I just love so much about Sweden. So on the flip side, what's your main problem with Sweden? My main problem with Sweden is that people here speak English so well that I have no chance to practice my Swedish language. So my Swedish language now is furlite, too little. And so I'm hoping to improve my Swedish language. But I am impressed by the, by the, by the English language speaking capacity of the Swedes.